What's up, Yu-Gi-Oh nerds? It's your boy Reaper here, and today I have heroes once again. Um, now, this build is a little bit different than the last build that I did, uh, primarily because this is more of a casual play style build. Um, this is this is definitely not like this is definitely not competitive. Uh, I mean, I, I, it could be depending depending on the way that you decide to build it and tweak it and make it your own. But me, personally, I literally just built this because it was fun. I love heroes. Heroes are my favorite archetype in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because there's just so much, like, there's so much variety when it comes to them. Like, there's no one specific way that you have to build heroes. Uh, especially if you're looking just to sit down and have fun and play with your friends. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this deck profile. Um, so starting out, I do want to say that this is a 45 card deck. It's a little, little over the norm, but... I, I have fun with it. I, I think it's a pretty fun build. Um, so starting out, we have three Elemental Hero Stratos. Uh, what, what Stratos does is it allows you to add a hero monster from deck to hand when it is normal summoned uh, or special summoned. Um, also, if, if you don't need to add a hero monster from deck to hand, uh, when it is normal or special summoned, you can also destroy spell and trap cards on the field up to the number of hero monsters you, uh, you control except for Stratos himself. Um, next, we have two copies of Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Um, Solid Soldier is going to be your play extender. Uh, you normal summon him, and then you gain the ability to special summon another level four or he uh, level four or lower hero monster from, uh, from your hand. So it's always good, just, you know, normal summon Solid Soldier, special summon Stratos, and then Stratos effect to add another hero monster from deck to hand. All right, ah, sorry. Getting a little, getting a little messy over here. Uh, so next, we do run two uh, elemental hero shadow mist. Uh, what shadow mist does is, uh, when she is special summoned, uh, it allows you to add a quick change, uh, a mass change, uh, quick play spell from your deck to your hand. Or if she is sent to the graveyard, you get to, uh, I believe it is, let's see, add one hero monster from deck to hand. So she is also good for. Uh, going into your extra deck really quickly or just gaining extra hero monsters in your hand uh, Next we do run of course two destiny hero malicious uh, Malicious is good for special summoning itself uh, From the graveyard and by that I mean if you have one malicious in your graveyard You can banish it special summon another malicious from your deck Just kind of extending your plays giving you a little more options to go into uh, into your extra deck uh, next we do run three uh, elemental hero neos alias uh just for just for the, f the the fact that it is a neos once it is on the field or in the graveyard and it is also a level four uh level four hero monster level four light hero monster at that so it, it does help getting to your extra deck and gives you a little more variety uh next we do run the one elemental hero ocean and then the two copies of elemental hero bubble man uh, this is in these are in here primarily for the attributes uh, and they also are level four uh, hero monsters which allows you to use them off of uh, solid soldier so we usually we, we, we're using them primarily for their attributes not even gonna lie uh, next we do have the one elemental hero honest neos as well as our one copy of elemental hero neos uh let's see here next we have our vision hero vion um uh, if he is normal or special summoned you can uh send one hero monster from your deck to the graveyard and then also uh you can banish one hero monster from your from your graveyard to add a polymerization to hand which is really good uh you can normal or special summon vion send malicious from deck to grave and then you're able to banish your malicious, special summon another malicious, as well as uh, banish one hero monster from your graveyard and add that polymerization to also extend your plays and help you get into your extra deck. Uh, next, we do have the Destiny Hero Dynatag, the Destiny Hero Celestial, the Destiny Hero Draw Hand, uh, also for their attributes and as well as extra deck materials. Uh, we do have two Elemental Hero Heats, once again for the attribute, and it's also a level four, uh, level four hero monster, which is really good. And also his effect is not terrible. Uh, if, if you're just looking for something to normal summon and you already have something, uh, you already have your other heroes on board. 
Uh, he gains 200 attack for each elemental hero monster you control. So it, it helps increase his attack. Uh, and we do have one elemental hero woodsman. Uh, and his effect is once per turn during the standby phase, you can add one polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand, which is really neat because it allows you to gain your extra poly. So that way you can again go into your extra deck. Um, going into our spells, we do have one monster reborn, one reinforcement of the army, and then we also have our one miracle fusion as well as our one, uh, well, hold on, and here we go, as well as our one Mask Change 2. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with what Mask Change 2 is, uh, you discard one card, then target one face-up monster you control that has a level, send it to the graveyard. Also, after that, if it left the field by this effect, special summon one monster from your extra deck, or special summon from your extra deck one Masked Hero monster, with the same attribute, but a higher level than the attribute slash level the monster had when it was on the field. It's kind of a long effect, but it, it's a, it's essentially an additional mask change. Um, next, we do have our... Uh, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. Next, we do have our three polymerization. We have our... Three favorite hero. We have our three e emergency call. Because who doesn't love just being able to uh, add a level four or lower hero monster from deck to hand, especially since it's not a hard once per turn. Uh, next, we do have our three copies of Mask Change. We have our two copies of Skyscraper. We have our one copy of A Hero Lives, and then we also have our two copies of Double Hero Attack. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for the main deck. Let's go ahead and look at this extra deck that I've been talking about so much during this video. Uh, we do have our one extra hero, Infernal Divisor, and then we have our two Cross Crusaders. Um, I personally enjoy uh, Cross Crusader. Because once it's Link Summoned, you get to uh, activate its effect to Special Summon a uh, Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard to the to the main monster zone. And then you also get to activate the effect to where you can pop that monster you Special Summon to add another hero monster uh, from your deck to your hand. Which allows you to extend your plays and go, go into some pretty crazy combos. Uh, next, we do have our one extra hero, Dread Decimator. Uh, really good for dealing piercing damage into a defense position monster as well as it gains a hundred attack For every hero monster in your graveyard and it also allows any uh, Hero or any hero monster that this points to or any monster this points uh, this uh, it points to To gain the same effect. So basically if you have your graveyard full of hero monsters You get to up his attack and any uh, hero monster that it points to as well. Uh, going into our fusions now, we have our Elemental Hero, Great Tornado, which is really good because if this card is fusion summoned, have the attack and defense of all face-up monsters your opponent con uh, currently controls. So it's really good for knocking down some of the some of your opponent's big old big old boys, cuts them in half, allows them allows you to get over them a little bit easier. Uh, next, we do have our Elemental Hero, Sunrise. Uh, when it's special summoned, you get to add a copy of Miracle Fusion from your deck to your hand. Also, I believe it has the effect of... Let me read this card real quick one more time just to make sure I have my numbers correct. Um, it and other hero monsters on the field gain 200 attack for every uh, hero monster that is on the field. Sorry, I hit my camera. Uh, next, we have our one elemental hero, The Shining as well as our elemental hero, uh, Neos Knight. Now, I really enjoy Neos Knight because uh, it gains attack equal to half the original attack of the warrior fusion uh, material used for its fusion summon, um, except for elemental hero Neos. So, uh, 
it, it requires a elemental hero Neos and a, another warrior monster. So whatever that warrior monster is, uh, it gains it gains half the attack. Um, and also, it can make a second attack during each battle phase, which is really nice. Uh, your opponent takes no damage from the attacks involving this card. So it's basically just a big old boy to take out your opponent's monsters, and then you can swing uh, into into your opponent using other monsters that you control. Alright, next we have Vision Hero Trinity. I really enjoy Vision Hero Trinity. He's one of my favorite extra deck monsters in this deck, primarily because uh, when this card is summoned for the rest of the turn, uh, his attack is doubled. And then also, uh, this card can make a second and a third attack during each uh, battle phase. However, it cannot attack directly, but I mean, if you summon Trinity you and your opponent has a board full of monsters, you're swinging into, into at least three of them for 5k a piece, which is really, really cool. Uh, next, we do have our Destiny Hero Dangerous. And then going into our Masked Hero portion of the extra deck, we do have one Masked Hero Acid. We have one Masked Hero uh, Koga. We have one Masked Hero Diane. We have our one Masked Hero Goka. And then, of course, we have our one Masked Hero Dark Law. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed this deck profile. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it in the description below. If you guys would like to see test hands and combos, please make sure to let me know in the link or in the description below. Sorry, words are hard. I don't understand them. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please make sure that you check out our uh, our sweet merch. We do have that amazing Yugi Nerd merch as well as our regular Stream Squad logo merch. Uh, link is in the description below. Also, if you would like to join our Discord to stay up to date on any exclusive stuff going down with the Stream Squad, please make sure you also check out that link in the description below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!